Tom. And I'm Molly. Welcome to Friends of Gameology, hosted by MoonlightCrew.com. Reviews for science. In seven minutes or less. Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This is a lot of different mechanics in one. You're building a castle, and so you have a modular playing board as you try to fit your pieces together. Uh, entrances to entrances. You also have an auction mechanic in which people, players will go around and purchase... Uh, Let's move this so you can see these numbers. I'll purchase these buildings here below for from up to 15,000 down to uh, 1,000. And uh, the, the person, the master builder, whoever's turn is to be the master builder, is the one who arranges these pieces. And so maybe something like this really big room worth seven points, they may say, we're going to make that really expensive. But then they might think, well, no one will buy it. But I do want to get some money, so maybe I'll put it down to the 6,000 areas so that somebody will buy it. So that's typically what will happen and then people will go around and purchase. And what doesn't get purchased gets a thousand bucks added to it afterward. So the price goes down. Let's talk about simplicity versus complexity. Um, so this game sounds simple and, and it is simple in, in, in what you do. You either purchase a building or stairs or take extra money and you add it to your castle. And then it's got this fancy player aid here. It tells you how to score um, when you place a building, and then what the bonuses are for the different types of buildings. Um, and so, it, so that's simple. But the scoring is not simple. We had, we had a, we messed up the first few times we played, and I had played, someone had taught me how to play, and I thought I knew, and then we read the rules, and I still was confused. So the scoring is a little bit complex. This game is complex from start to finish in the setup, is is out There's of control. Just a lot. It's I don't out know if of control. It's There's a lot. Uh, did I interrupt your simple versus? Com I'm gonna say my part, please. Uh, super complex setup. It's just a million things. It's out of control. Uh, really, it, it, the, I said it's complex start to finish, but it is simple while you're playing. It is the scoring that just kind of please. It is it is the scoring that just gets um, a little a little nuts. You have to rescore um, certain tiles that are adjacent or uh, connected to a tile you just played, or if you have a downstairs tile, this one in particular says every time you play one of these living room tiles, you get one point, and you have to try to remember that all the time. So, I mean, uh, after several plays, it comes together, but I, I did feel like I was lost the first couple of times I played it. Luck versus strategy. Um, I think there's lots of strategy. There's a ton of luck, but... I'll talk about the strategy. The, the, where you place the buildings as a master builder is important because you get the money. Every time someone buys a building, you get the money. And so you want to place them where they'll buy them, but you want to get enough money so that there's strategy in, in where you place them. And then there's strategy in how you, how you build your buildings. Um, but a lot of that has to do with the luck of what you get. You start out, you have these bonus cards that kind of help you maybe gear your points at the end towards something. Um, otherwise, you just you just do what is what comes out, and you kind of just go with the flow. So that's where the luck part kind of comes in. What comes out, and how does it work? Can can I make it work for my strategy? There's so much strategy in this game, and it's there's just so many different strategies you can pursue. Like Molly said, you pursue your bonus card strategy. A lot of times, there's just really big points on these cards. Seven points is a lot to to get in one turn. Perhaps you go with the downstairs strategy because they give you points for other types of rooms you build. Um, on top of that, at the end of the game, you get oh, yeah. four different categories, which are randomized, so it's typically um, different for each game. And I, in one game, I got, I think, eight points for three or four of those different categories, and it was a lot of points. So there's, there's a lot of ways you can, you can go about um, trying to get points, on top of what Molly said about getting money. There are a lot of strategies in this game. There's a lot of luck as well. Sometimes what you need just isn't coming up, and you're yeah. trying to get uh, more room card or bonus cards to figure out if you can start just a new strategy in the middle of the game. But I do think that there's a healthy balance. Fun versus boring. I think this game is fun. I really enjoy it. I think there's some downtime with trying to figure out as the master builder where you want to put things, and then a lot of times folks will hem and haw as to where they want to uh, where they want to place their their rooms and you don't really want to keep going until they do because they could complete a room get a bonus and maybe they take another turn and so like you you have to watch and that takes a little bit of downtime um once you get past the complexity of scoring and just kind of uh make that internalize that this game becomes really fun i've i had some struggles early but every time i've played since it just gets better and better yeah i think this game this game is really fun i mean it's the theme is is hilarious because uh 
King Ludwig, I'm sure we're butchering the name, Ludwig, I don't, anyways, he was kind of a, a nuts king, it was kind of crazy, and so these castles have these crazy rooms that he actually built in his castles, and so it's just kind of fun, and he had multiple castles, so the theme is, is really there, because you were building these nuts rooms, uh, or nu these crazy castles with, the you know, panic I have all activity rooms, I have all living rooms, or whatever it is. Meat locker. It, there's a mold room is one of the downstairs rooms, right? So, like, the theme, the theme is there, and that makes it extra fun for me. I just really like building the buildings. Um, yeah, once you get the scoring down, then you get it, so it's more, it's more fun. Um, it's more entertaining, and so I really like playing. You just have to get people that are okay with kind of just, like, looking at the master builder thing and then saying, uh, okay, I, I can't min, min max. Min max. Forever. I, I, I just have to place and hope that those are good enough. So, yeah. Board Game Geek rating. I would probably give this an 8. I'd go 7. I, I like it, but not an 8 worth because of the time, I think. I like, I, mm -hmm. Sometimes it just, there are people staring at it, and I'm well, just like, whoa. And teaching is a little, just because of the scoring. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say 7 for me. Yeah, all right. Every time we get to multiples of 500 subscribers, we give away a free glitter painting of your favorite geeky thing. So make sure to subscribe now. It could be you that wins. Castles of Mad King Ludwig. We, we've presented the evidence. You be the judge.